Australia, the world's <laughs> windiest country, as we've learned. Today, 78 k's. Easy day, compared to the last two, definitely. We've done 250, 210, 78. Right, we're going to film a bit of the ride, get to our destination as quick as possible, because we need to rest and uh, answer some of your questions. Fly, fly. Q&A day, Q&A. Fly, fly, fly. fly. Just over 40 k's to go. The roadhouse is further than Eucla. At the start of this trip, literally where we started, the cafe, um, there was a couple in there and they got engaged in Eucla, next to the whale. So we're gonna look for the whale. Strongest wind so far today. Snake. 5% less sugar. I don't want that. That means, or does that mean I'm gonna have 25% more? They are snakes, but they do taste great. But yeah, that's... First climb of the trip, mate. <laughs> First climb of the trip. Only 1,600 kilometers in. How you doing in there? It's nice and warm, mate. Giant kangaroo. He's got Eucla. a giant pot of Vegemite as well. Yeah. Also known as Marmite. No, it's different stuff, mate. I don't like either of them. See you in a bit. Hold down, hold down, hold down. Mate, people in the comments were asking how are we cleaning our kit and having it dry in time in between rides. It's, it's one the towel trick. So I've just showered in my kit and now I'm tactically placing it in this towel. The key bit is the tight roll. Fast forward this bit, Francis. Stamp that mama trucker down. If you don't dance, it doesn't dry quickly. Take it all out, hang it up. Dry it every day, fully yeah. dry. Even on the colder nights. What we've, done, we, what we've done is like, you could do that again if you want, if you've got enough towels, do it twice. Welcome to the bedtime Q and A. <laughs> Cause oh. it's been a shorter day, I thought we would answer some questions and you've given us loads of questions, so. Here are the answers. I'll put one, sorry. <laughs> what speaker have you bought? JBL Clip version three, three yeah. 35 quid on Amazon it was. Except it keeps turning off. Oh, it's been pretty good since we've actually charged it. Yeah, it's loud. Loud enough to, we can both hear it while we're riding, which is cool. And I'm deaf. How are you managing your return flight? Have you got a ticket on a specific date, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've got um, a buffer of one day. The idea is to, every five days is a rest day. We can adjust that if we needed to, but we basically have a one day buffer in Melbourne who can get the bikes packed up. A full day. Yeah. Full day, but our flight is, our flight's in the morning, mm. back, I think it's like half eight, something like that. Yeah. But then we've, then we've got like eight hours to kill in Hong Kong. Are the roads more dangerous than the US? If you, if you weren't taking precautions, yeah. If we didn't have mirrors on, and the high vis thing is on the back. Mm. Yeah. And if you're riding at night, yeah. Yeah. Because the shoulder is smaller. In the US, you've got a hard shoulder, the, the width of a normal lane, and every road is twice as wide as what we're on here, and twice as wide as anything you see in the UK. Mm. So there's just space, and no one, no one cares. In, in the USA, like people pass you miles away, it just doesn't matter. Whereas here, it gets a little bit close, and the lorries, a little bit scary. They're better than we thought they were going to be. Yeah. 100%. Much better than we thought. Yeah, everyone going on about Aussie drivers being the worst. They've like, actually been incredibly well. London's worse. Are we going to pay the Maven a visit? I think he might be riding the last day with us. Maybe. Why do I not wear dark lenses in my Oakleys? Um, it makes exposing the camera much more easy. Uh, especially when it's bright, because then you just can't see what's going on if you've got shades on. What are the orange elastic bungee cord things? They're straps? basically yeah. a ski strap. If you search for... Uh, I can't remember the name of the brand. Orange ski strap. Orange ski. They're they're, they're, they're pretty. They're a pretty generic thing. If we didn't have those, I'm not sure what we'd do. 
for water. Well, if I had them, I would carry more water on my bike, but I've kindly donated them to you. What a boy! <laughs> what kind of rides were you doing the run up of setting off? What weekly distance were you cycling at? Nothing for a month, and then raced a 24 hour race two days before we flew. That's about right. Given the terrain covered so far, would you have chosen different tyres? No, because we did end up finding some gravel and we wouldn't, we would have been really stuck if we hadn't have had these tyres on. Secondly, these tyres mean we can bail out the side of the road anytime we want, which we have done a few times. Mm -hmm. And you can keep rolling. If there's a massive truck, you get these, you get the big road trains and then you get the ones which have to have a van before and after them saying, Wide oversized, load. oversized, yeah, whatever yeah. coming. And no, they're just ridiculously big and you, you'd get you get sucked into them by the wind if you didn't get off the road. I'm riding 38s and you're riding 40s or 42s. Bigger actually means that they're pretty damn comfortable. Low it's rolling resistors, it's more than quick enough. Wouldn't you be better with a small cloth or hand towel on over your neck to protect you from the sun? The sun, sun cream works. The sun cream we got from a local pharmacist has been amazing. Yeah, it's just so good. And we haven't got burn. I mean, you're a little bit red. You burn easier than me, but now we've got, let's just, you don't burn. Ooh. Have you had any arguments yet? I mean, that the the plug thing tested us. The plug thing tested Mate, us. We yeah. were like, yeah, that was that was the most stressed we've been. And because yeah. we're working, it like I know it's just a plug, first world problems. We would have been able to continue riding, yeah. but the inability to document it and it's our work mm -hmm. would have been really annoying and that we just pissed off about it. We both moaned about things but we're not argumentative. Could you rebuild your group set or a wheel if it all went tits up on the nullabore? They're a high spoke camp wheel. Pretty much everything tool wise for, up, anything, for else. anything else though. Like we can make it work. Losing a spoke on a wheel with such a high spoke camp isn't going to be the end of the world no, anyway. No. Um, especially with discs. Especially with disc brakes. What shoes are those? Shimano, S Fire mountain bike shoes my ones are the new ones chris ones are the old ones they're really good they're also filthy how's the undercarriage coping i've only ever done two ultra endurance rides of 300 miles in a day and i was in bits after both we're not doing ultra distances we're riding a long time but we're not riding 500k in a day no. so everything seems everything's all right i mean i've never had issues anyway perhaps it's a bike fit problem we just showed you the towel trick but when you're in the shower you properly, properly clean the chamois and you're good. Mm -hmm. Also, I've never used chamois cream. I think that's, I think it's like a drug. Once you use it once, you have to just carry on using it. But if you never use it, you're fine. I use it. What now? Right now. In bed. Yeah. How frightening are road trains and what's your protocol when, when you spot one approaching? We had one today which caught us off guard. Yeah, we were riding in the middle of the road. But we were, we, yeah. we, 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 pro we, we had a lapse in concentration, didn't we? We sit and check the mirrors maybe once every 20 seconds. When we see one coming, we keep an eye on that mirror for a bit longer, or even turn around and look to see if they're passing us with enough space. If they're not, we move as far left as you can possibly go. Mm -hmm. And they tend not to cross over the white line anyway, because there's little rumble strips. Um, and if they're passing clear, then they're passing clear. G you still get a nice little boost from them. And generally speaking, they've been Really good, actually. The, I'd say the majority have passed on the opposite side. It looked, and most of the people in caravans have just been waving and beeping their horn in a nice way as well, so... I think it probably looks intimidating when you see some of the videos and stuff of it, of the road players going past, but they actually generally do give quite a lot of space. Right. Can't load anymore. You're in bed. We're in bed, mate. <laughs> I'll have the shit bed over there. <laughs> oh, right. 200 Ks to do tomorrow. Oh, by the way, thanks all the Patreon people that have gone and signed up to that because it really does help. See you tomorrow.